Hi there. So here I am in Argus Online, and I was just going to do a quick uh, demonstration of the, the sort of purpose of categories. So you see down here on the left, I, I don't have any categories. I'm just going to sh show you how they work. And actually, they're, they're really useful. I, I find them one of the, one of the most sort of useful um, methods of filtering and, and just viewing your data. Um, you know that, that you can use obviously there's tags you can you can put tags in and stuff but but this categories allows you to very quickly um, <coughs> filter and, and uh, sort of group together data so if I set up a <coughs> organization category I can what I can do is is create a new one so I call this um, I don't know planning okay so let's say this is to do with uh, I'm a council or whatever and it's uh, um, uh, the category I've created that custom one is, is planning. So I can go to my triple SIs, is sites of um, special um, scientific interest in the UK, which would be under consideration when um, there's a planning application. So what I can do is click on the triple SI and go to categorize, and then um, click on planning. So it's part of the planning um, category. It can be more than one, and then press save. So now I've, this is all the content I've got on this sort of tutorial area of Arches Online that I've got. Um, but if you look here now in planning um, in the categories, I've got this planning category, which is just one item. So um, when I click on it, I just get the, the um, drip size. So I can edit these characters, edit the sort of custom um, categories. I could add a subcategory. Maybe it's something planning to do with um, I don't know, hotel and catering or something, or I can add a whole new one and I call it, um, I don't know, areas of historical um, interest or something like that. Um, or um, it could be um, uh, some kind of points of interest, some kind of tourist areas. So, so now, for example, on the battlefields data, I could categorize, put it into area of historical interest. And now I've got that one in areas of historical interest. And like I said, you can you can put more more in. So I can clear the category filter just by clicking the clear. And I could say, well, actually, um, I want to put battlefields um, in one of those existing ones, or it could be in both. But let's do triple size again, and just for the purposes of demo, we'll add it to the historical one as well just for the purpose of the demo. So now there's two in there. So as you can see, this is a very quick um, way to easily filter your data across the whole lot, rather than kind of search, use the tags or whatever. You, you, you may not know the name of uh, um, the actual, um, either the tag or, or the layer you're trying to find. Um, but if it's associated with, with something like this, maybe it's a, it's a business function or, or um, something special, maybe emergency um, um, response planning or something. Uh, you can just create a category and go. Just finally, you can um, kind of automatically create a load of uh, categories. So I'll show you what I mean. If I just delete these, okay, I don't want to use them anymore. I, I mean, I can leave them. I, I just want to clear the decks. And then I can set up organization categories and have a slightly different approach because in this, when I created them, when I created them, uh, I use custom. But as you can see, there's actually some uh, default ones that you can dive straight into. So there's kind of default uh, ArcGIS ones already created. Uh, there's some industry standard stuff, but also there's Inspire. You may you may prefer to group filter your data like this. So you can see um, if, if your data fits into these okay, you want to follow Aspire. So press save. And now you see it's created the Inspire um, sort of categories for you automatically. Uh, the inspire ones so i could say well actually triple si's categorize into i don't know the protected so into protected sites for example press save and there you go now you can see there's just one there in protected sites so you can start off from scratch create custom ones or just sort of pull in some a load of existing um inspire or, or iso or what, whatever you like anyway hope you find that useful